This YouTube video is presented by Screamscape, your ultimate guide to theme parks. It's the coast of cruise. Well, we are here at the uh, Great Coasters booth again. We got Chris Gray here. Let's see if we can. Uh... Hey, Chris, how hey, you doing, guys, buddy? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you again. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, we're hoping to do a little interview thing. I don't know if that's possible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we actually have Adam here for you this year. Would you guys rather talk to him? Oh, you, you brought him? <gasps> yeah. Hang on a second. Oh, this is gonna Adam. be fun. <laughs> hey. Oh. I made it down. Oh, we miss you, buddy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How that's what doing? we have to. We never clap twice. That's why he doesn't show up. That's why he doesn't show up. That's what it looks like a genie. If we be doing this, we have to have the call from Chris. That's oh, all. There we go. Just here, but <laughs> we have to have the call from Chris. Let me show you guys around the booth. All right, let's do this. See, that's why he hasn't been on the show at all. We haven't clapped twice before the uh, tapings. <laughs> exactly. You guys are finally getting to know like, the instantaneous call to get me here. Well, first of all, before we go on, all right, all right. How are you doing? Pretty good. I mean, it's been a couple weeks now mm -hmm. since we've had you on the show. It's been a few weeks. Yeah, you, bu are you busy. Uh... Things have been busy at work and in life and a lot of different things, so it's, it's good. Things are finally you know, <laughs> get, getting back down here, so I think we're finally getting we're, we're good here. That's so, good. Well, let's, let's let me show you guys around the booth a little bit. So right. basically, this year we've got a, a new thing. Uh, I don't know if this was the last year's show or not. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, it I was. think it was. Yep. So no, you our, wouldn't know exactly. <laughs> so this is our big fun model from last year. Um, it's basically showing that we can do anything a park wants in, in a really tiny amount of space. Basically, we're fitting as much ride as you can in a small amount of space. And actually, this could fit inside of a football field. So that could, it's actually a little bit smaller than, in a, than a football field. So basically, we're trying to show a customer the diversity that we have. Um, we can pack a big punch in a small package, is basically what we're saying here. And also, I mean, this is a, more of a, a value option ride than, say, Bodan. Exactly. Exactly right. It's, it's bang for your buck, man. Everything you're spending on it, you're getting something for it. Mm -hmm. So everything here has a, a reason or a purpose. So that's a, something we're really excited about. And there's a few different things I'm going to show you guys around the booth that actually show that we can shrink rides down. Because we've actually had a lot of requests for smaller rides, you know, keeping our budget down. We want a family ride. We want a kid's ride. And uh, we've got a few different things I'll show you guys in a little bit. Over here on the wall, we've got uh, some pictures from Bodan in uh, Europe. As you can see, two million riders we've hit since April. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got fire. Exactly. And it has fire. And there was fireworks the day it opened. You know, the kids love it, families love it, and uh, we're, we're super excited about it. It's our first coaster with three trains on it. Oh. And uh, like I said, we've actually had, I want to say that Mock told us that it's like two and a half million. So it's, it's it, was, it increased all the way through the end of the season, but you know, we're really happy with what That's a, that. a lot of riders. I know Mock Rides here. is really happy about what they got out of it. So, uh, yep. you know, it's, it's all good. So let's walk around the booth this way, guys, right. and we'll kind of show you what's, what else we have here. So basically on this wall, we're just trying to grab your attention. We've got a big S turn on Renegade. So you walk up, there's no question of what we sell. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think that's Plushies. A, exa exactly. <laughs> plush, plush dolls, food, <laughs> things like that. And right around this corner of the booth, we have our famous Coke cars. We bring this with us every year, but uh, we've kind of got a different change of pace. We've got the setting of a ride. So when you're, getting in, when you're sitting in the car and you get your picture taken out there by your friends and family, mm -hmm. it basically looks like you're on one of our rides. So that's kind of a... <laughs> a big thing there. Let's, let's, let's test it out. Let's test it out. Viewers, does it look like we're riding? <laughs> it looks like we're riding. Now, are, do these actually lock so we can just trap Clinton here all day and go have fun? Unfortunately, these don't, but there is a mystery one on the other one that we might be able to do that with. Oh, fabulous. Well, now that I know, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> well, you yeah. don't know which one, though. <laughs> and I have to point out, I do love this gentleman's beard in the third row there. That is... It's, it's pretty good, man. It's, that's got fantastic. The, got the blowing goatee there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get a little closer to him. Oh, you can't... That's right, but this is our this is our ride in Germany. This is El Toro in Germany, so it's a ride a lot of people have not ridden, and uh, it's it's you know that's kind of why we brought it. So it's not absolutely it's, it's no great swag. Some of the best swag on the floor is Thank these these GCI bags. <laughs> he gives away 2,008 calendars on the show. Meanwhile, they have a whole closet <laughs> of these things sitting around. That's right. You know, maybe when I make an appearance back on the show, I can. Uh, I can make something happen. That's, that's if you need him back. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're doing pretty good. Uh, you, know, you, know, just... you should see the post Adam ratings. They've oh, been fantastic. I'm sure yeah. they're through the roof. Right? <laughs> I miss you. Yeah. Please come back. And uh, so, uh, what else you got? So basically, we're coming around the booth. This is kind of our main area. If you kind of pan around, you can see basically the different photographs we have. This is kind of our big thing that we do. Um, basically, showcasing a lot of our different rides. So, you can see different rides around the world Prowler, El Toro, 
a ride in China, a ride in California. Mm -hmm. Basically just kind of a collection and an overview of, of everything we do and everything we have done. And then we've obviously got a meeting going on right now. It's important for big waves, so uh, mm -hmm. we're going to try to stay out of that. Absolutely. Man, he just went in your booth. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so basically as we come around the booth here, you can see a couple more of our rides kind of showcasing. So as soon as people walk up, they can see, you know, this is what's going on. This is what these guys sell. We try to get as many pictures as we can with family and kids riding because that's kind of our big demographic. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's our big selling point. This is, a, this is a big showcase point for us. Yeah. Step around the booth here, take a look at the next. See, my idea next year, fill the trains with hot chicks. Ah, 20 hot chicks. I think we would sell a lot of rides that way as well. Absolutely. Now, what is this? Okay, so basically, you know, we got a couple more pictures here. We've got a model of a junior coaster that we kind of showcased before. But here is kind of our big deal for this year. It's called a uh, family shuttle coaster. So what we're doing here, because we're basically taking a, a Vacoma Boomerang, kind of that different style of a shuttle coaster, and uh, kind of put a wood coaster twist on it, put our own unique twist on this thing. So what happens is you start out in the station, you would come up the first lift hill backwards, you drop down, traverse the whole entire course, come up the next bike, you pull to the top and get released backwards. Here you have a station fly through, so you know, you've got your, your kids, your family there, hearing this train just roar through there, and it, it's a really different, exciting feel for us. And, uh, <laughs> We're calling this the Backtrack Family Shuttle Coaster, so it's kind of a kind of a new name for us, kind of a new thing for us. Um, and again, it's just a small ride. It's exactly like Big Fun. It's small. You know, we can put this thing anywhere, and that's and that's really what we're going for here. We're trying to tell people that basically, hey, you don't have a lot of money, you don't have a lot of room. Well, that doesn't matter. We can do something for you. So that, that's kind of our big thing here. And that is wild. I mean, you've seen a lot of different things. A lot of people are going upside down on wooden roller coasters. You guys are going shuttle on wooden roller coasters. Exactly. So a lot of exactly. seeing a lot of innovations in the show. Exactly. And this is a cool idea. We're trying to get families more involved. We know there's a lot of a lot of companies out there, a lot of markets that want to bring their families in. You know what I mean? They mm -hmm. they kind of went the wrong way with bringing teenagers and parks got run down and things like that. Yeah. Well, we want to cater to those parks that want to have family rides and, and family coasters and something that says, hey, bring the whole family. Because, you know, that big steel coaster goes upside down 10 times. It's one of these crazy things that just starts flipping you crazy. Grandma doesn't want to ride this. This is something that grandma can ride. You have kid. not met Grandma Gran Novak. Grandma Novak's a little she different. She doesn't want to go on anything. She just no. wants to pet the kangaroos. Well, grandma Novak would like to stand right here and watch. Yep. Uh, yep. watch she, likes, she likes flowers, so she would love, you know, uh -huh. going around looking at the landscaping you guys have. Exactly. And then she'll sit here and watch Clint ride. And uh -huh. Then she'll go find the pub. Yep, and then she'll... she'll See, look, there's yep. a perfect spot for a pub if you take that. <laughs> <laughs> heck, if you just move some rocks here, you can put a perfect little well, pub for grandma. Why did grandma yeah. turn into, like, an English person? Like, oh, she's going to the pub. <laughs> she needs to have her pint. <laughs> you know how grandma will know back She's got to have a drink every now and then. Very cool. Well, this is awesome. This is definitely something really different. And I, I bet you guys sell quite a few of these. That's we're, a really, we're open to. We're open to. Really good idea. So if you guys step around the booth here, we've got this classic beast mm -hmm. here. So this is kind of our... This is our trade show car. So what we're trying to do here is say, hey... We can do any custom paint job you want. And uh, really our options are pretty open with a car and what we can do and where we mm -hmm. can go from that. So we could my, put my face on one side, Clint's face on the other side. Yeah, if you guys really wanted that, I think we could probably do that. Oh, all should right. we call it the extreme nerdgasm? That would be mm -hmm. perfect. That would actually be the perfect name. Well, we'll probably have to raise money again. We're about to bring back the sponsorships and, uh, and <laughs> all uh, sorts of in things. In the queue line, there would definitely be a pool that if you felt so inclined. To yeah, have yeah, you mean, yeah, absolutely. Exactly, man. It would be the perfect, it would be like an in-the-loop timeshare, you know? <laughs> That's exactly what it, it would be the in-loop music part. So, uh, so this, is, this is kind of the thing we bring. So again, just trying to get, catching people's eye, showing off a product that we have and we know is proven, that we know runs. I mean, up to right now, I think we have uh, 38 different Millennium Flyer trains that are in existence mm -hmm. uh, with 17 different roller coasters. So. And you got a whole bunch more coming next year. You got exciting exactly. things going into California exactly. and right down the road for me here at Fun Spot. Right, exactly. So we've got a lot going on. And, uh, you know, basically we're just trying to showcase our product that is a known, proven product that we're comfortable with, we're happy with, mm -hmm. and that uh, we're always super excited about. And they're great. Exactly, exactly. Well, we step around. We got uh, one more thing to look at here quick. First of all, I, this is probably where I should have started because this is the sweetest feature, but now we have a bar, mm -hmm. a, a nice full bar. And Prove the thing, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't happen until a little bit later. It is tonight. 11 o'clock. We want you to prove it. <laughs> uh, maybe a little bit later you guys can yeah. come by and we can prove that. But <laughs> Right now it's just check fix. Basically what we have here, I mean, we're, we're trying to go for that wood coaster look here, mm -hmm. but we're trying to keep it classy. And I think we've done that. And Chris designed nice. the whole thing, and he did a really, really good job with it. Just because it's not gaudy. You don't walk up and say, oh, God, that booth is over the top. It's 1990. Yep. You know, it's very modern. It's obvious what we're selling because it's all wood. 
we kind of designed the legs of this to be like bent. So Chris did a really, really good job with laying this right out. And uh, behind the screen. Laying this right out? We're laying this, uh, <laughs> the bar out, yeah. I'm so used to saying the right <laughs> out. Uh, behind the bar here, we got a TV that's running right now, Mountain Flyer in China. Um, it's been running video of a few different rides, including Hodan in Europe and uh, definitely Yost and the Drac and definitely. Now we've seen uh, also some uh, CGI models on your screens from some of the newer designs that yep. don't quite exist yet. We've got a few of those that uh, actually Adam Yurden works on and, and does those for us. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a 3D. Basically, people like to, to see their product beforehand. You know, what Absolutely. I mean? it, it's so hard to buy something that you can't fully visualize. So we go from building models to uh, running, <laughs> basically running uh, different videos, 3D models that mm -hmm. people can see. And basically that's kind of what we're showcasing here, is bringing different models, bringing different 3D mod or 3D renderings to basically show people that you know we can give you what you want. Now we have these custom cookie cutter rides that we can do in small plots of land like Big Fun in the uh, Backtrack Coaster, mm -hmm. but we also are capable of doing something that's completely unique and basically showing you how unique it is. So, well, that is awesome. Close. Adam, we thank you. Thank we you. miss you. you. Yeah, yeah. And if we ever need somebody to come out and lose at mini golf, you will be the first one that <laughs> yeah, we will. Okay. That, that was a fluke. That was a fluke, man. That was like the first couple days of the show. It was a, it was a fluke. So. <laughs> All right. I'll get you guys next time. All right. All right.